Hi guys and welcome back to Sun Devil Learning Lab. So this is going to be the summer edition. My name is Mrs. Lopez and I'm also going to be working with Miss C this week, this week and the continuing weeks throughout the summer. And I'm going to be part of the sixth grade math team. So um, we're going to be going over um, many different um, math things throughout this throughout the summer and um, you're going to learn as well as I'm going to learn throughout the summer. So let's share the screen here real quick. Okay, let that load. So today um, we're going to be going over unit rates and we're going to go more into that and um, really know what is a unit rate, what does rate mean, what does unit rate mean. And so let's go a little bit further here. So before we start the lesson, I do want you to get your materials ready. So your materials here are your paper and pencil that you're going to need today and yourself as well. So I'll give you a few moments to get your materials ready, um, but it shouldn't take too long. And then also, um, we do have a question of the day today. Um, and the question is, what is the difference between a rate and a unit rate? So let's just take a few moments here. Um, we're going to have some background music play while you guys grab your materials.
Okay. So now that you should have your materials and the background music has stopped playing, um, we have our objectives and I'm going to read them to you once and then hopefully you're able to repeat them as well. So our objective is going to be, I can describe a unit rate using ratio language. I'll just give you a few moments here. Um, and we also have, I can calculate unit rate and I can apply knowledge of unit rates to real world scenarios. So I'm gonna repeat that and then I'll have you repeat it after me as well so you guys know what your objectives are going to be for this lesson. I can describe a unit rate using ratio language. So repeat after me. Okay, and then I can calculate unit rates. Okay, and I can apply knowledge of unit rates to real world scenarios. Okay, so let's go to um, a review of what a ratio is because um, I know maybe if you've been in the previous lesson, um, about ratios and what a ratio is. Um, a ratio is when we compare numbers of the same kind. So if we look at this picture right here of the boys and the girls on the top, if I was to make a ratio of comparing boys to girls, there would be two boys to the one girl because there's one, two boys and the one girl. There is three, there are three um, children in total, but the ratio of boys to girls is going to be two to one because there is one, two boys and one girl. We can also look at this picture with the dots. What is the ratio of the yellow dots to the red dots? So look at this right here first and I'll give you a few moments again and tell me what the ratio of the yellow dot to the red dot. So if you're looking at this image right here, the ratio of yellow dot to red dot should be one to three, because there is one yellow dot and one, two, three red dots. So now, Again, let's make it a little bit bigger here. And now tell me what the ratio of yellow dots to red dots is. If you said your ratio was three to nine, you are correct. So there are three yellow dots and nine red dots. And we could do that by counting them out or we can use our multiplication and just know that three times three, three on the top, three going down is going to be nine. So you have one, two, three yellow dots, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red dots. So if you were to write this as a ratio, you should have three and then a colon and then nine. So after the review, um, we also have just ways you're going to write your ratios or say them verbally. So the first part is the word two. So we have five reds to four blues. So let's say I had five red circles and four blue circles. When I wanna say that verbally, I wanna say five reds to four blues. This is very important too because you're going to need to know this language um, later on in the lessons and also later on um, in your math um, learning as well. So we have five reds, two, four blues. We have nine, two, six, and that's written form, or we have numerical form of 12 to one. So that's one way to write a ratio. Another way to write a ratio is a fraction. So you have five reds over four blues. So 
in this in this setting it's not actually a fraction it is a ratio um, you're not going to divide because we know that this um, fraction bar means to divide but we're not going to divide these two because there are two different um, values we have red and blue we just know that we have five reds two four blues and there goes the word two again five reds two four blues then we have nine over six or nine to six as a ratio and then 12 to one so as a ratio of nine to six we can say we have nine girls and six boys or we can say there are nine cars to six trucks um, it just depends on what your um, quantity is in your ratio so then we have so now we know the word two we know a fraction form and now we're going to go over a colon form so a colon is these two dots right here you're looking at the presentation these two dots um, is the name for them is called a colon so if you are to write a ratio using colons you would have five reds colon four blues so you can have five red circles to four blue circles or you have the nine boys to six girls and the colon is what is really going to signify a ratio so these are very important in the um, ratios so if you would take a moment you could write um, one example of each of these ratios so we can look back to further on Okay, so you should have wrote in, written um, one of each of these. So you could write the 12 to 1, the 9 over 6, or the four, 5 reds to 4 blues using the colon form. I just want you to have all three of these on your paper because um, we also may reference them later in the lesson. So the question of the day. What is the difference between a rate and a unit rate? I'm going to um, give you a few moments to just maybe think about it and just decide what you might think what a rate and a unit rate is. If you don't know, that's totally fine. We're going to go over that today in the lesson. But if you do know, maybe um, chat with someone um, next to you or a family member or whoever you're with when you're viewing this lesson. I'll give you a few moments here to just think about it. I'll give you about three minutes.
Okay, so um, we're going to learn what a rate and a unit rate is. So first off, we're going to go over a rate. Um, a rate is a ratio that compares two quantities with different units. So um, it's a special kind of ratio in which the two terms are in different units. For example, if I have a 12 ounce can of corn that costs 69 cents, the rate is 69 cents for 12 ounces. So the first term of the ratio is measured in cents and the second term of the ratio is measured in ounces. And you can write this as a fraction of 69 cents over 12 ounces, or you can write it as a colon as well, 69 colon 12 ounces. Both of these expressions mean that you'll pay 69 cents for every 12 ounces of corn. So if you're looking here, if you look at the right, at the ad on the right, we have fresh berries and or blackberries, six ounces, and they are two for five dollars. So we know that half of five dollars is two dollars and fifty cents. So it is two dollars and fifty cents for six ounces of raspberries or blackberries. Same with the blueberries, $2.50 for six ounces of blueberries. So a ratio, uh, a rate is a special kind of ratio that just um, has different quantities and it's for um, an expression or a term of just ounces or pounds or whatever expression you're going to use, but it's saying it's for that certain type of quantity, again, with the corn. Both expressions mean that you're just going to pay 69 cents for every 12 ounces of corn. So in this ad, you're going to pay $2.50 for every six ounces of berries or blackberries or raspberries or blueberries, whatever um, you may see at the store. Then if you look at this strawberry one on the bottom, you're gonna pay $1.49 for two pounds of strawberries. So that is also another um, rate. For every two pounds of strawberries, you're going to pay a dollar and forty nine cents. So just the rate is a ratio that compares two quantities with different units, money to pounds or money to ounces. Um, what else you could do? Um, miles per gallon, um, how you fill up your gas tank or um, dollars to um, changing it to a peso for Mexico, um, for Mexican money. It, it just um, depends on what your rate is, but you do see, usually see rates um, over um, all day, every day. Basically, if you go to the store, you're gonna see a rate, as you see in these ads over here. Um, you could see a rate um, at a fast food. You're gonna pay $2 for two burgers. So your rate is every $2 you spend at McDonald's, you're gonna get two um, hamburgers. Or every, at your fast favorite fast food place, you're gonna get a, usually you do get rates most everywhere. So I just give you a few moments here to just look over the ads and see or notice if you see anything different.
Okay. So just to go over it again, a rate is a rate is a spe special kind of ratio that compares two quantities with different units. Again, you, for every 69 cents, um, you buy 12 ounces of corn. And mm -hmm. hence on the for every 69 cents. So you, so that means that you pay 69 cents for every 12 ounces of corn. Just remember that for every part. So now we're gonna go over a unit rate. And a unit rate is also another um, special ratio. Um, but this ratio, sorry, this ratio um, is a ratio that compares a quantity to one unit of a different quantity. So rates are used by people every day, um, such as when they go to work and they work 40 hours for one week or earn interest every year at a bank. When rates are expressed as a quantity of one, such as two feet, per second, that's one second, or five miles per one hour, they're called unit rates. So looking at the ad on the right, we have 59 cents, sorry, we have 59 cents for one pound of chicken leg quarters. So, what that means for every one pound of chicken, you are paying 59 cents. So if you have a multiple unit rate, such as 100 and stu 120 students for every three buses, we want to find how much it is for just one bus. Because 120 students to three buses, that is a rate. A unit rate needs to be with the denominator of one. So what that means is if there are 120 students in three buses, we need to reduce that so we know how much students are going to be in one bus. And we wanna find that single unit rate. So write a ratio equal to the multiple unit rate with one as the second term. So I want you to take a few moments here and write the rate um, of the 120 students to, uh, to three buses. So we learned, and it should be on your paper, about the, hundred, about the word two. So I want you to write 120, 120 students to three buses. So just give you a few moments to write that down. So you should either write 120 with the word two and three, or you could have wrote um, 120 with the colon and the three on the side, or the 120 on the top in the numerator divided by three in the denominator for the buses. And then we're going to reduce that. We want to reduce that second number to one. So how many times does three go into 120? So I'll give you a few moments to calculate that as well. Okay, so um, the number you should have gotten was 40. So for every 40, there are 40 students for every bus. So what your rate should, your unit rate is, is 40 to one, or 40 colon one, or you could have 40 in the numerator and one in the denominator. This is just a unit rate because it is by one. You always want the one to be the second number and or in the denominator. This is called a unit rate. 
if we look at the speed limit sign, um, everywhere in every street that we have here in the United States and every um, and possibly every country other than the United States as well, there are um, speed limits for how fast people are to drive on the road in um, parking lots and stuff like that. And this sign is 20 miles per hour. Looking at and this sign is 20 miles per hour. So MPH stands for miles per hour. So this is your number. It's saying you can go 20 miles per one hour. This is the speed limit in this certain zone. So we just need to show you that you see unit rates practically almost every day because you are always seeing speed limit signs all over the road, or you see it, or you see it in ads such as this one right here. Fifty-nine cents per one pound. So, just going over the. Um, question we had before. So a unit rate of 120 students for every three buses is 40 students per bus. You could also find this rate by dividing the first term, 120, by the second term, three. These are the three ways you can write those ratios. 120 over three, 120 to three, or 120 colon three. These are all the three ways you can write a ratio. So these three ways you can write a ratio. So we want to know how many students per bus. That means how many students are in one bus. So we're going to divide the three into the 20. So how many times does three go into 120? It goes into there 40 times. So when prices are expressed as a quantity of one, such as 25 cents per ticket or 89 cents per can, they're also called unit prices. So if you have a multiple unit price, such as $5.50 for five pounds of potatoes, and you want to find the single unit price, you have to divide the multiple unit price by the number of units. So Right here, we have the unit rate. This time, it's going to be me as an example. Mrs. Lopez runs 15 miles in five hours. How many miles does um, she run in one hour? So find the number of miles ran in one hour. So I want you to write down your rate. So this is going to be an example. You're going to write down your rate. 15 miles is on the top to the five hours on the bottom. We always want to write the first number on the left side or the numerator and the second number on the right side or in the denominator. So 15 miles in the numerator, five hours in the denominator. So that is 15 to 5. So 15 is on the left and 5 is on the right, or 15 colon 5. Again, 15 on the left, 5 on the right. We want to use a fraction and divide. This is going to be the easiest way to find a unit rate because fractions are easier to visually see and reduce them. So we want to reduce the denominator to one, so we're going to divide by five. So what happens on the bottom also happens on the top. So we have 15 miles per hour. We're going to divide that. So five goes into 15 miles three times. So that is three miles. And five goes into five one time. So there's three miles per hour. 
So, Ms. Lopez runs three miles in one hour. You have to make sure that your, for a unit rate specifically, it always has to be per one unit. So, miles per hour, so I ran three miles in one hour. So, I'm gonna give you some time here to try the next one. The five potatoes for $5.50. How much does it cost for just one potato? So just look at your visuals right here, and I want you to write down your rate. Once you're done writing down your rate, use the fraction and divide, and then let's figure out how much it is for one potato. So I'll give you um, a few moments here as well to do so.
Okay, so just looking it over again, we have five potatoes and it's five dollars and fifty cents. So I did write it in the wrong way and I am sorry, um, but five dollars and fifty cents should be on the top and five potatoes should be on the bottom because we want to know how much it is for one potato. So that means that the the denominator needs to be one. So that means potatoes needs to be the denominator. So going to the next slide here, we have this, let me present it again. Let's see here. Okay, we'll just use the screen right here. So we have five potatoes for $5.50. So $5.50 needs to go on the top and the five potatoes to the bottom. Or it's $5.50 to five potatoes or $5.50 colon five. So this one, we're gonna be using the fraction and we're gonna divide. So what that means is we're going to have the five dollars and fifty cents on the top and we are going to see here and we have the five on the bottom we want to make it the bottom to be one so we divide by five what we divide on the bottom we also have to divide on the top and that is going to make it Five divided by five is one potato, and five divided by five dollars and fifty cents is a dollar and ten cents. So what that means is one potato equals one dollar and ten cents. So this is your unit rate. So looking at um, your rates and your unit rates, the difference between a rate is that it compares two quantities with different units. So six ounces is $2.50 for these raspberries and blackberries. But the unit rate is comparing it to one thing only. One pound, one mile, one hour, one second. This is all compared to one. So there are many ways you can do this. You could try it on your own. You can look at your grocery store ad if you get any in the mail and try to figure out the best unit rate or the best price that you're going to get for your food or your berries or your strawberries. Um, we also do here have some extra practice. There's a brain pop game and also Jeopardy Labs that you can practice these here um, rates and unit rates with. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now and you should be getting um, those resources as well that we'll be uploading and giving out as well. I hope you had a good lesson learning about unit rates and rates and um, also in your learning um, guides that we have, there are some questions that you can answer. And also um, you can review this video if you don't understand as well, or if you need more practice, you can try the Brain Pop and the Jeopardy Labs as well. Bye guys, and I hope to see you soon.